Hello everyone, my name is Ajaz Patel and I am from www.blogspot.com. Welcome to the e-commerce website development in PHP with PDO part 22. So guys, in last tutorial, we successfully deleted our some products from here. So, in, and I also update uh, product name, which is by mistake we updated previously. So I I am fix uh, I am fix this problem. So now we are jump on our user side. So user side we need here some products. So how can we do that? Just simply uh, come back to your main website folder and go to first of all we need to open CSS file. So we need to open style.css of our user side remember that we are not in admin side now now we are in user side so here is our css now we need to open our body left part just because we need the product here so we need to open our body left so double click and open it okay look at this here is our body left we need to design first oops just remove it from here and give one tab okay now it's fixed now after our image Oh, sorry. Uh, after our slider section, we create one UL, and after the uh, inside UL, we need some li, and inside li we need a tag and hyperlink reference, which means href. Now we not using any link, so inside here, just first of all, we need to design it okay now come back to your css and design this okay so let's take a tree for our example purpose so now what we are going to do we are just going to css and find the body left here it is look at this here our body left so first of all we need to say body left ul list style type none oh sorry list style type none then we say body left ul li okay then we need to define the width so width will be 31 percent and its height will be around uh, 350 pixel okay 350 pixel is right and we give one border border one pixel solid has uh, e6 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 okay let's check what happened here okay look at this this is coming but not completely coming just because we need to remove the height of our body left from here okay then we also need to add a padding one person from all side okay just refresh and check okay look at this now now our body right is coming here just because we use one percent padding so now here we need to say box sizing border box okay now let's check what happened okay look at this now now it's completely coming and look at this uh, i am applying some more border here so you can understand uh, very well and better let's say three pixel Okay, look at this. Now the border is coming. Our UL is coming. One, two, and three. So now 
what uh, we need we need in single line uh, we need here horizontally not vertically so what we going to do we say float we use here float property float left okay then let's take a one refresh okay look at this now now it's coming in trees uh, ho uh, horizontally so now we need some spaces between these three li so how can we do that just simply we write margin from left side only one person okay so now refresh and check okay look at this now now also we need a margin from top so we say margin top uh, around 10 pixel okay 10 pixel is right okay mm, i think it's not working margin top 10 pixel let's check 20 pixel what about 20 pixel refresh and check okay so margin is not coming right now uh, let's say important property refresh and check okay it's uh, not working so okay just border radius we use a border radius property border radius 3 pixel because we need to round this square to round bracket okay so look at this now now our border radius is applied so what we need here okay let's uh, say margin 20 pixel from top of our ul so paste it from here refresh and check it's joining so let's check the code first okay one two three and four all are perfect so why it's not coming let's refresh again okay let's uh, give some more margin so we say 100 pixel from top so let's refresh okay look at this now now it's coming now we need to decrease our margin top 50 pixel okay look at this now now it's perfect and looking very well now what we're gonna do we need here one uh one title like electronic category or property uh, category so come back here and after our slider end we create one h3 tag okay and inside h3 tag we say electronic which we change this letter but for demonstration purpose i will uh, i am creating this so electronic okay come back to your css coming here and say has body left have some h3 tag then its background will be has 40040 and its color will be white has fff okay mm, and one more thing we need some padding from left side so say what about 5% padding okay it's perfect so i'm going to refresh okay look at this now we have some problem with our image so yeah image is right but uh, still we have some problem okay just remove it from here by control x and paste it from here refresh it again okay look at this now now we need some height and we uh, sorry we need some height h i g h t height so height will be around 35 pixel refresh and check 
okay look at this now uh, i think we need more height sorry so what about uh, 40 pixel and we also need a border radius border radius 3 pixel refresh and check okay look at this now now we need to this text inside the center of top so how can we do that i told you in previous tutorials so we use here line height property line height and we give the exact line uh, height which is given by our main height so our main height is 40 pixel so we use here line height 40 pixel okay look at this now okay so electronics is coming but uh, we need some more height from the our ally so we also define here from margin top 10 pixel okay just refresh and check okay look at this now now it's looking perfectly and very nice now let's add some more ul so control c and here control oh sorry control v okay let's refresh it again okay look at this now now this happened just because we use a height here oh sorry we need we use here margin top 50 pixel property so remove it from here now let's check what happened okay look at this now something is wrong i think something is totally wrong Mm, our code is right perfect so okay just we use a br clear all property br clear all just refresh and check again okay look at this now now it's coming perfectly so we need some margin from top Oh no, we don't use a margin. Okay, we also need here BR clear all property. So refresh it. Okay, let's decrease the, our image size 300 pixel. Refresh. Okay, look at this now now it's coming perfectly all are perfect now so i think uh, we use a ul padding from bottom just because look at here here are joining our title is joining from here of our ally so we need to here give padding from bottom mm, i think one big uh, one person is perfect let's check okay look at this now one person i think two person is perfect so we use here two person refresh it again okay look at this now i think 1.5 percent is perfect 1.5 person refresh it okay uh, now I think it's looking better and very nice so let's give the shadow from our this title so how can we do that we simply write uh, box shadow mm, 5 pixel 5 pixel and 5 pixel and color will be triple C which means something like a gray color not working box shadow okay all are right but our box shadow is not working so 
let's give the important property and check it again I think color is mismatch let's use a black color 0 0 0 we make some mistake okay let's add text shadow first text shadow 5 pixel 5 pixel 5 pixel and it should be a black okay now let's check it what happened okay also our box text shadow is not working so we need to check the error here okay i find the error look at this we are in wrong we are in h2 so it's apply on h2 look at here our shadow is applying here but uh, okay we also need here a shadow and we also need here so let's copy this from here by control c paste it from here by control v now let's check okay look at this now now our shadow is coming i use different color for your understanding so i say red okay let's check again refresh okay look at this now red color shadow is coming but we don't need a red color we need here black color refresh it okay look at this now now we also add some uh, box shadow of our h3 so again paste it here and change the text shadow to uh, box shadow okay refresh it again okay look at this now look at this so i think uh, 5 pixel is too much so we need only 3 pixel 3 pixel and 3 pixel refresh it now okay now i think it's perfect and looking very beautiful so guys i think this is enough for today so in next tutorial we remove this from here because we don't need just because we fetch our products from directly to the database so we don't need here a static designing like this so in next tutorial we create a function page and we properly create one function to display all the products dynamically into the database using category wise like electronic so also we display your electronic items if you are crockery so we display your crockery item if we have some another category so we display some another, uh, another category products so in next tutorial we create these all things so guys this is enough for today if you guys are like my videos then like and share and if you have any question in your mind then comment below and one more thing do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel because it is very benefit for you for latest update of my channel and you can find me easily on youtube so subscribe my channel and support me so guys thanks for watching stay connected with me stay tuned goodbye